Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Jennifer Lynn Warren. Let's talk about social media. But I hate social media! Even AOC, Miss Alexandria Cortez, said, I'm very hands-on about social media. That's my voice. So let's get a clear understanding about social media. Some actors have become masterminds of creating the illusion online that they have brilliant careers in living these perfect actor lives. But that's a skill in itself and not necessarily one that I am recommending. If you want to build a following, you will get there through authenticity. And there's a decision to be made. If social media makes you angry, then get off of it. It's true. I have made connections online that have led to work opportunities. But if it makes you uncomfortable and it fills you with rage, you won't be able to make those connections. In fact, you're probably going to be posting things on social media that are hurting your career. However, if you decide to embrace social media, which I hope you do, and this podcast is not about me being great about it because I'm not. It is a struggle, which is why I think I'm doing the podcast is to remind myself that it is important and we all need to learn to fall in love with it. Unfollow negative people. Know that all posts are made to look more wonderful than the moment usually is. Some people obsessively seek out red carpets and photo opportunities because it makes them feel better about their career not because they may actually be working. And this isn't to come off with negativity towards posts that celebrate success. This is just to clarify why you should not be comparing yourself to the journey of others. When it does get depressing to be online, take a break. I have taken a lot of breaks the past year because with the pandemic and everything and not booking very much, it was really hard to post anything other than an occasional picture of my cat. So I get it. You're more interesting as an actor when you are interacting with real life in real journeys anyway. So why I am, I am talking about this is because when casting directors decide whether or not they want to look at you or work with you and we're working in a world now that we are booking off of self-tapes. I booked recently off of a self-tape again and I never got a call back and I haven't spoken to the director and they just offered me a completely different role than the one I read for and I have no idea if I'm right for it but I guess we're going to find out pretty soon. I'm sure that they went to my social media even for a moment to see, oh, is this a person that I can spend a couple of days with? Is this somebody who's psychic, sorry, psychic, who's psychotic? Oh, she likes cats. I like cats. We have that in common. Oh, she really loves her cat. Oh, she likes to cook. Look at these things that she cooks. Oh, this seems like a really grounded whatever person. And so whatever I was doing with my social media seems to have been working. Even with my Hollywood Actors Guide Instagram, I tend to get very sidetracked in my life and I just even just forget to post on there. And then when I do post, suddenly I feel like I'm coming out of nowhere, but I always try to make it very helpful for you guys. But then on my personal page, it's actually easier for me emotionally to post on Hollywood Actors Guide because I'm like, here, let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. And then I go to my own web, my own Instagram, and I haven't done anything cool or unusual in a while and I'm like well nobody wants to see a picture of me just being like whatever but sometimes like those things that we don't even realize to us are ordinary because we do it all the time like maybe we play tennis all the time or or maybe we play chess all the time that could be you know, there could be a casting out there where they're looking for actors who play chess and maybe they come up, you come up on a search or you submit yourself for like the, the neck for Queen's Gambit 2 for this chess champion. And maybe you're like so excited because you love playing chess and that casting director goes to your social media and there are no pictures of you playing chess. Man, what a huge opportunity wasted. And it's not even that I'm saying like, let's go through all of your skills and start posting pictures of them. But I bet that there are more moments in your life that 
could be interesting for you and for casting to see than you may realize. And so social media, it's tough. There's a lot of negativity on there, but you don't have to follow any of it. If you were to open my phone and go on my Instagram, I follow a lot of famous cats, a lot of famous dogs, a lot of zoos, a lot of travel. Like I don't follow any news sites really. I don't like, even like when I follow like the New Yorker, you know, they post some sad stuff sometimes, but they post a lot of cartoons that make me laugh. And so like, that's positive. Like there's no, like nothing negative. Even my Facebook, like if friends start getting negative, I mute them for 30 days or I unfollow them completely. And so everybody on my Facebook and on my Twitter feeds and everything, it's all very positive. It's all like acting related. It's, you know, it's built to bring me positivity instead of the negativity that I hear that it brings a lot of people. And so you can curate it, curate it, and you can curate it to show, you know, casting how to cast you. Make sure that you have links to your reels even on your social media sites. Um, put your reel on your iPhone or your whatever phone you use because you never know when you're sitting with someone and you want to pull up your reel. This actually happened to me once and I had it on YouTube and it took forever for YouTube to load. So now I have the actual file on my phone. I have it under, you know, the photos slash videos and I have it start as favorite so I can find it in seconds and I can show anybody my reel within seconds from my phone. So that's another little, little tidbit there. All right. So let's hate our little, our social medias a little less. If anybody wants me to look at their Instagram or whatever and tell me, you know, if I can, I can let you know what kind of person you come across as, you know, just um, hit me up on Instagram at Hollywood Actors Guide. Send me a message. Send me, you know, out. obviously you don't have to send me a link because you're going to be messaging me from the profile that you want me to look at. Okay, so if you have several files, message me or profiles, message me from the one that you are on. I will take a look at it. I'll take a look at your resume and see if there's anything I can maybe come up with to maybe help you um, with your career through social media. Because if you can't beat them, join them. And speaking of joining them, join us on weaudition.com. Weaudition.com. That's another way to grow followers. Almost every time after I read with someone on We Audition, we follow each other on Instagram. So I'm getting this like great community of actors and we're all following each other and we're all supporting each other in real life and online when we all need readers or audition partners for our auditions so go on weaudition.com sign up promo code hag25 hag25 for 25 percent off of your lifetime subscription and that's it that's all i have for you this week stop hating on your social media love you all break a leg and remember you are not alone